software applications are designed to help a user perform specific tasks, such as typing and formatting text documents, playing music and videos, editing pictures, browsing the internet, and much more. Most of the software that you are going to use is going to be from a third-party manufacturer, which is a company other than Microsoft. Microsoft does provide a lot of free software for their operating systems, which we will talk about in an upcoming video. There are many types of software available, such as packaged software, web applications, open source software, shareware, freeware, and even custom software. Let's go over the different types of software that you can get. Package software is what you will find on the shelves of retail stores. They are typically produced by large manufacturers and are for the most common users and most business users. Web applications are websites that allow users to interact with software on any computer that can connect to the internet and has an internet browser. These applications are becoming more and more popular because of high-speed internet. Many of these applications are provided for free by a website. An example of a web application is when you check your email online. Open source applications are software that you can use and modify. This software does not have any restrictions from the copyright holder. Most open source software is free to download from the internet. Shareware is software that is copyrighted and can be downloaded for a trial period. After the trial period expires, you will need to pay a fee to continue to use the program. Most shareware does not allow you to use all of the features of the software until you purchase it. When you purchase a new computer, it will come with many shareware programs pre-installed by the manufacturer. Freeware is software that is copyrighted and is given away at no cost. Many software manufacturers provide freeware applications in order to build their brands. A common example would be an antivirus company that gives away a free virus scanner and remover to entice you to purchase their full antivirus application. You will see me use many different types of freeware and shareware in the chapter on computer maintenance. Most software that you purchase or download will need to be installed on your computer. During the installation process, you will need to register and activate the software application. Many manufacturers will not let you use the software until you perform these steps. This prevents users from installing the software on more computers than is allowed. Your operating system will come with lots of programs pre-installed. Most of these programs will consist of what is called utility programs. These are programs that are used for controlling and maintaining the computer. An example of a utility program is an antivirus application which is used for protecting your computer from unwanted malware. In the next video, we will take a look at how to open and save files with software applications.